Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. I have kind of special reflections today. Uh, the The title of it is um, An End to the Endless Cleanse. <laughs> I bet we can all associate with that one a little bit, huh? And uh, I have a, a friend who channels messages from Gaia. I've spoken of her before. Her name's uh, Mary Kirkpatrick. And she sent out a message this morning that kind of just totally encapsulated <clears throat> what I wanted to share with you today about the Endless Cleanse. So I've invited her to be my guest reflections. And I'm uh, taking this pretty much straight off of what she sent for you on YouTube, for those of you reading, or you can read it below on YouTube, or, uh, of course, in my email message, which I hope you've all signed up for, right? <laughs> anyway, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Uh, I got a beautiful new watch and uh, some phone calls and cards, and I'm having a very special day. Um, anyway, here's, here's the quote Mary started out with. When old words die in the tongue, new melodies break forth from the heart. Uh, and, and this is what she says. Uh, I can't remember who said it, but a while back somebody mentioned that this period of time is like an endless cleanse. Woo, she says, have I felt that these last months? It hasn't been constant, but it's been persistent, right? I think we all, all can feel that. Uh, and it's, and it is time to deal with them and feel them and shift them and replace them, uh, with something more true and life giving, just like the old words dying from the tongue, creating a new, uh, song from the heart. But sometimes we just get exhausted. It's just a bit overwhelming. Uh, kind of reminds me of when um, we're always looking forward to the next thing, and and especially when something's uncomfortable, like when you have a two-year-old. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till he turns three or four, or I can't wait till these teenagers go off to college. And then, and of course, when all that happens, there's always all the good, all the lessons, and then all the missing uh, that goes along with it. So it, it's when it seems endless that we focus on this cleanse, as we mentioned last week. They are actually exciting stepping stones. Um, and we're supported. We're so supported in all of this by the divine within us, Mary says. We have help more than we're aware of. And the energy and the vibration of this error is moving us more quickly through things and integrating them into the higher perspective. We're no longer processing, processing, going back to the past, dragging up all the pain. We're, we are processing them quickly. It's just that we had no idea. There were so darn many of them, right? That's what I'm thinking. Um, it's internal and individual process, but we see it happening in the larger world. Every day we see more evidence of people becoming more conscious of things that need to be changed and stepping up with the power to create that change. And then Mary says, when I get quiet, I feel the massive shifts and I know that the flow is cleansing us and moving us to a much more beautiful world. Um, so, you know, relax and be part of this. Um, find the beauty in it, find the joy in the endless cleanse. It's an endless flow clearing us uh, and of course, as, as she said, we're taking all these um, lessons and new songs from our heart into the new reality, into the new world, which is coming a lot more quickly than any of us could have perceived. If you're paying attention to uh, the buzz on the Internet lately, there's so many things, not on mainstream media, of course, but one day will be. Uh, so many things happening. So have a great Mother's Day. Have a great week. And um, Egypt has new dates, October 28th to November 8th. Still one place left on the Alaskan cruise. If you're interested, let me know. Catch the magic and take care of who you are. Bye-bye.